this episode has been jammed by the file three. I'm level 27 marker man, and this is Let's Play Paper Mario with the Super LP heroes, including. Hello, everybody. This is Gold League Gamer One. I absolutely can't believe that how lazy Bowser's being. He gets the ultimate power in this world and uses it to make his castle float. I have to use it to crush all of my enemies. <laughs> Yes, and it is Kefka, voiced by Gunner and Dine, Gollum Dine. Hey, Twink! Those guys have stopped paying attention to us! Let's sneak out of here! We might be able to find some news to help Mario! <laughs> wow. Couldn't, couldn't resist that one. Ah. Uh, so, uh, if Dine can do a spot-on Kefka imitation, I wonder how, how he could voice Bowser. Uh, Bowser would probably be deeper and harder on my throat. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay. Bowser is cool, this. <laughs> okay, okay. Never mind. Um, but we skipped through that automatically this time. This is actually my least favorite uh, part of the game, probably. Oh, stealth mission. Always the worst part in any game. Uh, this is the one before Chapter 5. Yes. Oh, and that's the permanently missable badge. I can't permanently miss it anymore. Because Mario can pick it out of that chest in there. Meanwhile... Oh. Or... Yeah, it's Gourmet Guy! How did I get up here? Wasn't I, at the, wasn't I on the surface a while ago? I can report you to King Bowser, but I can't move from here. I'm too damn heavy. Yeah, and he wants food. Let, let, let it be known, Peach approves of bribery! Uh, yeah? Uh, but then there's... again, that, that's the entire plot of New Super Mario Brothers 2. You have to go out and get money for her. There was a plot? Pretty much. I thought she got kidnapped again. No, that, that was the uh, B-plot. Yeah, this is the cooking one. That had to be annoying, just yeah. lifting her dress every time yeah. she takes a step downward. Now, I, I yeah. will say this, the 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 layout does match the, the design in Mario 64 pretty nicely in the foyer there. Yeah. Oh, does. yeah! Yeah, you're right, it does! But it's not an exact replica of or Peach uh, Castle from Mario It is basically so like a good cookbook! Let's use this, okay? Yeah, Welcome to Food Network. No. Peach Toastu is the next Food Network star! Yeah. Oh, hey, Dine, you know what that high voice can also make you good at voicing? The Sinister Squirrel? No, the Whammies from Press Your Luck. Oh, indeed. Yeah. Sugar and eggs in a bowl. Because it's... This voice does have a very good evil life of its own! <laughs> Let's just get this over with. <laughs> oh, yeah. Although, it, the, uh, there is something like this in Thousand Year Door, but it's actually funnier. Oh, uh, well, I don't think I've seen that yet. Yeah, Thousand Year Door pa parodies a lot of the things that happen in here, or, or parallels them. Because I... Uh, I'm doesn't not it also surprised. have the same quiz to look for Mario's fears? Or, or uh, is that also in Super Paper Mario? No, I don't... It doesn't work out the same way if it does. Button mashing! Button mash stirring. The zoom in. Oh, before before we recorded this, I chose Tiny Toons Wacky Sports Challenge as one of my next race picks. Hope you like button mashing, because there's a lot of it in that game. Oh, what system is that on? Super NES. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's, a, there's a password that lets you access all the games, and we're just going to go down the list. Let's put salt in the cake. <laughs> no, flour. Now cream the butter! Oh wait, I'm the only one who gets that reference. <laughs> Did we put the whole jar in there? Apparently. Oh, and this is the reason I hate it. I'm just glad I wear a watch. Uh, what? You have to uh, time it without any prompts. Oh. Okay. Now bake it in the oven for 30 seconds. That's a fast cooking cake, to be honest. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. In the real world, no cake can rot. It can be finished in thirty seconds. Be pretty dang small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but still, you have to time this arbitrarily for thirty seconds. It's secretly a microwave in there. Oh. <laughs> Even then, the cake wouldn't really bake. It's magical. The, the batter would boil first. Magic. It's magic. I don't have to explain it. Dang, this is one long 30 seconds. I know, right? I'm so glad I just wear yes, a watch. Yes, yes, yes. Get, put that out that white oven mitt. She's burning her hands. She said those gloves. Put the cake down. Those, those gloves are thermal proof. Probably. Hope so. Do you really You're care if she you. burns her hands? Her. No. Yeah, let's peach, so I don't know. But, but then again. The signal that, that her hands are burning probably won't reach her brain until after the end credits are over. One strawberry for the cake. That turns into three. Fortunately, we don't have to sneak out with the cake. Yeah, that would be uber annoying. I played Song of the Deep recently, and it has a stealth mission that was more nerve-wracking the entire rest of the game combined. Yeah, and if you're spotted, you're basically dead. And it's in pitch blackness, you can only use sonar. Like Donkey Kong 64, you're, if you're spotted, you're dead? Pretty much. Oh, that- oh, oh, in the Stealthy Stoop minigame. Oh! 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 This is way too delicious. Orgasming Shy Guy, there's the pinnacle of my voice acting career for you guys. Even better than the Orgasming Dog. Really Guitar. good. I haven't felt this way since, well, ever. To show you my gratitude, I'll tell you a secret. Right there from my heart attack. Since I met Lava Lava on Lava Lava Island. That's an Adventure Island 2 reference. A Super Adventure Island 2 location. <laughs> I'm just gonna get this done oh, fairly God. fast. That, that, that game, Adventure Island 2, that is like the bane of the channel's existence. Still less parts than Banjo Kazooie had, but Super Adventure Island 2 is much, much better. Well, that well, the difference is Banjo Kazooie is a longer game. Okay, did, that's just that's just simply long. The, well, I, I never Island 2... saw the whole thing. Did uh, did was it were Safe States banned at first? Oh uh, yes. Uh, did for the did first, Paris uh, game over? Yeah, for the first seven, the okay. Uh, for the, the first island. seven parts, uh, Paris refused to allow save state. But then, when he saw that we were making like no progress for the longest time, he finally gave in to allowing save state. Did he allow save states for himself? Yes. Yes. He, he even did. Ow! Oh, the hell of spikes are drilling into her back. That has got to hurt. And, and I knew it was coming because, like, because if if if, if the no save Faith rule stood. We would have even have been on that race forever. Yeah, we, we got lucky with Castlevania Three because he didn't want to use save states for the first night, but some some miracle happened. We finished it in three parts. That was amazing. Still don't know how I didn't die in that one. Strategy, level. and we got chill out, which I'm not going to use like ever. Call on me whenever you find yourself in trouble. I'm always come quickly to age one battle. Now I'm going back <laughs> to my dead old Star Haven. Yeah, I I still think like the 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 best uh, the star attack is Star Shooter. Storm. Hi. Mm. Yeah, it is. I believe you are Twink. No. You're that youngster who recently ascended from Starbomb Valley up to Star Haven. <laughs> oh, of course. We're like family. I'm so touched. Don't make such a fuss, Don't make such a I'm fuss, sure you'll go on a great thing. I must take my leave now. Goodbye, Twink. Are you? Uh, wow, that Give was a up, crazy Scotty. voice change you had there, Muscular. Not my fault. 
And Twink has gone all fanboy. Held at Lava Lava Island. Or... She had Not Lava to Lava make... and Lava Lava. She had to make a just... cake. Let me guess. She had to make a cake. I just said Mount Lava Lava and Lava Lava Island ten times fast. Lava 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 Lava. Pretty fast. I think I failed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, you know, now that you mention Lava Lava, sounds a lot like uh, La Mulana or Lama Lama. Yep. And yeah. I honestly forget what I did in this episode, so. Yay. Actually, out on the island we grew up, I grew up on the Lava Lava is what we call the sarong. Oh, I, remember nice... what, I remember one of the things, there's a, this is a pre-chapter 5 plus the beginning of chapter 5. Yep, gotta oh. get to the actual island to start the chapter. All right, but there's some things we right. want to look around and get, maybe. But I do believe we have yes. another encounter with a uh, junior trooper for the for the next chapter. No, no. Oh. Don't think it oh, showed that... up again until the end of the game after the last oh, encounter. Okay. No, oh, no, no, okay. no, no, no. Gold is close. Okay. Oh, okay. Gold was very <laughs> close. Yeah, there's one more chapter five, then he shows up at the end. No, there's, uh, one, bef there's one, bet there's one even between ones we're talking about. Then, yeah. But Pinky appears three more times in the game. I remember less about this game every than I odd go. chapter. Yeah, in because he, because he basically just won't go away. And we're about to get the one. Now this badge can be permanently missed. It's still Fortunately, you can violate my, space time physics. My first. Oh, um, oh, are yeah. you going to show off that um, optional giant trooper fight? Oh, yeah, but that's not till chapter 8. Yeah. It's easy if you know how to do it. Yeah. The guy still hits like a ton of bricks. I think I've tried it. It's uh, K. C. Cooper or something. Oh, and this is one of the most powerful badges in the game. Zap that. And you really want it before chapter 5. Yeah. I never would have thought of coming here. Meanwhile, Link is traversing the other side of the observatory to examine the moon, get the moon tier. Wait a minute. Majority's mask reference. <laughs> so does that mean Mario's the professor? No, uh, not ugly enough. Did you just call, just call Mario handsome? Ah, uh, take me what you will. To a degree? <laughs> It said not ugly, at least. <laughs> okay. We'll go with that. Although I think Power Jump is now, now just going to fade out of usefulness. After that last chapter. I'm, I don't think I ever used Power Jump again. I don't think. Of course, of course Mario probably has a better opinion of himself than other men. I think it's just, he, he was saying, yeah, If you think I'm sexy and you want to see my body, or however the, so however the, how the song goes. <laughs> I know what song you're talking about. I actually have it on my iPhone. I don't, I don't recall hearing it being sung on Muppets Tonight in the 90s. Well, actually, well, I, I, I actually have, we have the version that's actually sung by uh, the Warblers on Glee. The All or Nothing badge. Anything that increases my attack power. It's a way to win. Sometimes you just want to go all out as quickly as you can. Yeah, I usually save that one for, like, in bosses. This is really so I can do just high a lot of damage. Now, speaking of Paper Mario, who's getting Color Splash next month? Crickets. <laughs> Wait, that's a Paper Mario game. Yep. Uh, I still have to get the the Mario Luigi Paper Mario crossover. Hmm. Yeah, I need to play through that. Sorry, I haven't gotten don't far. think I know what you're talking about. Uh, Mario and Luigi Paper Jam on 3DS. Oh, okay. Well, I don't own a 3DS, so I oh, won't not, I currently won't get a chance to play that. 
You're missing out. And I will. And I, I, I actually thought about getting a 3DS, but it hasn't happened yet. I would British accent this guy, but whenever I try a British accent, it turns Australian. I, for whatever reason, I hear him with the voice of Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Oh, speaking of Australia, oh, it, it, oh no, All right, it actually well. reminds me of the origin of the middle finger. Good heavens! I was wondering what this was. It seems to be made of tuna. Okay, never mind. Um, uh, it's okay. Yeah. The first step is making you have a problem. Okay. Fair enough. But I'm not a tuna. I'm not even a fish. Hey. You're just gonna eat me, aren't you? Schmuck bait. I was gonna run to the cast from Breath wow. of Fire 2. There's a, the only thing anno there's only one thing annoying about this guy. Just one thing. It, it's really not that bad, based on how I armed myself. Okay, well. well we, so you got power plus on. Now, since we, I did two hits, it deals plus, it's like a plus two effect. Zap tap will increase the damage even more. Now this is the only reason he can be annoying, is because he hangs on the ceiling. That's it. Oh, okay. Or you could just jump. No, you can't nope. jump on ceiling enemies. Oh. Gold, use your head. Think about it. Like, oh. If you tried to jump on somebody who's literally hanging on the ceiling, what would happen? Oh, oh okay. I, I see what you're just saying. That, I was just I was just paying more attention to the fact that it was a, that was an enemy in the air and you could just jump. No, the it, it ceiling is a, is, a, is a position in this game. I, uh, I think I did come across one of those enemies recently I in Thousand Year Door. This whale does not have a name. Oh, he wasn't gonna eat us. He was just gonna drown us. Is that a whale's pee, or is that something else? It's something else. Well, why not, why not, maybe you ought to ask Dory. She, she's knowledgeable about whales. At least she can speak it. You mean talking like this? <laughs> I'm awfully sorry. I was just having a nap with my mouth open. I can speak dolphin, too. <laughs> okay. Isn't that how you swear in Spongebob? Oh, not telling. <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> that's, you, that's what I should call you, Dr. Mario. You give an excellent theme music to him. I am, the, I, the tuna, am, I, I mean, the whale. And you notice, his eyes are not attached to his body. Is that, a, is that a trait of whales or tuna? Trait of Paper Mario creatures. Oh, wait. You know what else is weird about him? He's three-dimensional. Yeah, so he's an alien in this world. Oh, oh if now I hold back and let people read. Whee! Eh, it, meh. If, if it's if it's give her ups on us, we'll survive. We're here. Uh, we're the main characters. Yep. The only thing that can kill us is a non-cutscene event. Yeah. Up oh, and now that whale's gonna take us to Lava Lava Island. I can't believe it. We're on a tuna. Whales don't swim that way, by the way. <laughs> Do tuna? Nope. Hey, three-dimensional seagull! This is a... We are entering an alien world. It's probably cousin to the Goonies from Yoshi's Island. Chapter 5.
hot, hot time in Lava Lava Island. Yeah. Including including a fight against Naval Piranha, it looks like. Oh, okay. It looks like you did something different this time. You decided not to start a video at the start of the chapter. Well, basically, I recorded each chapter setting in one thing and just cut it to pieces. Okay. Oh, you, oh, you didn't actually slap a to be continued at the end, huh? Yeah. I literally just recorded all of Chapter 5, for example, and just cut it where I thought appropriate. Okay. Hey, now, all right, my wild animals. Now we're yeah. going to get our badge set up for the Lava Lava Island. Yeah. Now, in my Let's Plays, um, if, if there's ever a part where I'm... Um, where it and where the recording actually runs too long and I don't end up doing my outro, I just like slap to be continued on at the end. Now those things give hearts. Yay. It doesn't matter what partner we have out because I have quick change. I'm just double checking my badges because I'm ultra paranoid like that. Yuck! Oh, I called it. <laughs> yep, I made the first strike on him. And this is the enemy why you want Zap Tap. I want Bo because Bo can do five damage and take that one out. And now, well, basically, it doesn't matter. We've won. Yep. Won already. Here's why. Can't hurt us. I think that deserves a pure neener neener right there. The thing yeah. is, they can also divide and make the battle go on longer. Probably still not as bad as dividing enemies in Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> the DS version, or...? Both. Uh, I never found them that bad if you use, like, the Dark Knight moves. Or yeah, the if, Dark if you don't have the Dark Knight moves there, that's when they're super annoying. And we are in Yoshi's Village. Yoshi Village! Yoshi! So happy! Oh, hey, uh, this actually has another callback to Yoshi's Island. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're that little brat all grown up. <laughs> you wouldn't believe oh. the hell we had to go through because of you. Yeah, so, and uh, Mark, you should know what that uh, that callback is, right? Right? Mario, Mar ah, Yoshi's Island, Super Mario World 2. Uh, no, the, the callback to, to Yoshi's Island in this in this game during during Yoshi Village is the same is the same type of music you eventually hear uh, uh, during the file flex screen. Yeah, of Yoshi's Island. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah, uh, good old Chuck Quizzo. I, I remember someone wanting him to be the host of Mario Party Eight. Oh, uh, the Mario Party franchise is, is a really great, it's a really great series. Or it used to be. Yep. Well, actually, out of all the console Mario Party games, I'm currently only missing four. Four of them. I just, That's I'm missing... That's nearly half of them. One, three, five, and six are the only four I'm missing. Okay. Yeah. I've tried to find them, but uh, they're, right now they're nowhere to be found. A sequel stagnation set in around number five, in my opinion. Yeah. Although, although Mario Party 5 featured one of my favorite Slim Kirby moments. Losing by one coin? You know it! <laughs> oh. Well, that, that, that ties into what happened with the Runaway Guys. Oh. When, or, or, when their Mario Party 1 Let's Play, Chugga won by one coin. And he says, suck it, Slim. No, and they, they, because of what John did. I think. Because uh, he got the, 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 the miracle from left field chance time. Oh, there was something that Slim Kirby said about the uh, cosmos being put back in the line. Let me check. Yeah, I keep talking while I'm checking. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I decided to talk to people a lot in this one. Oh, well, uh, you, well, you. 
Well, oh, I, I guess you maybe were in the mood to talk to all the townspeople. Uh, okay, Chugga lost to Mario by one coin. And Slim Curry put in the comments, wait, what's that sound? I don't know, call me crazy, but I think that's the sound of the universe coming back into balance. Oh, wow, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. I haven't followed their stuff lately. But yeah, that, that, goes, that goes back to uh, Board 7 of Mario Party 1 when Chugga won by one coin. <laughs> and then come Mario Party 5. He suffers the same fate as a Force babysitter whose name is Sushi. It's like you're destined to be eaten raw. No, well, not all sushi is raw fish. S sashimi is usually the raw fish. Oh. It's dangerous to go alone, which is what Colorado did. He didn't even have a wooden sword. A uh, swordless run is possible. You think Colorado's capable of doing a swordless run? Nope. The guy couldn't even get past two fuzzies. They aren't even the ones from the Yoshi's Island. They made him dizzy. Upon touching him. Excuse me. We're the fearsome five. We aren't afraid of anything. Oh, I can't remember the name of the group call. of five from God Hand. Call, 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 call. Oh, he's not saying call. call. Oh, the Mad Midget Five, okay. <laughs> There's no way to talk to that one, apparently. Well, it probably just says Ka. And, oh, oh, the inn for this area. So much privacy. It's good to sleep outdoors. Yep. Yeah. Yar! Light fires, think campfire songs. You get the idea. Now you could have just slept and left him like that all night. Stab, 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 stab. <laughs> he just ignored me. He's having too much fun stabbing that guy in the head. Now you have to be careful with these guys. When their spears are held forward, if you try to hammer them, they will poke you. If their spears are held up, they will. You can't jump on them. Unless you have spike protection. Yeah. He's summoning help. I don't think it's worth a star storm, even though the end no. is right across from me, so... Only with a couple of enemies, not worth it. I keep expecting Bo's text oh. to change to good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing! Uh, thank you, Sonic Colors. Yep. Then they're annihilated. And then there were none. Exactly. Mario's genocide of the Shy Guys continues. Yeah, Colorado, shouldn't you come in here with weapons or some survival guides or food or something? Yeah, there's one in every Paper Mario game. He's like Hercule. Oh my gosh. Scarecord. Bit of a sticky wicket. Yep. And oh, wow. guess what? Now he goes off on his own. Guess what happens now? Oh, uh, we, we get to end the party pretty soon. Oh, he died. Hold Will in. Colorado survive? Catch Go. us back next time for part 14 and find out. Later, folks. Bye, See guys. Ya.